Welcome to another DCS video for the Harrier and uh, this is another minor but important update not to the Harrier itself but how to create offsets in the editor here we have a simple route and I suspect that most people don't use offsets at all and put a waypoint as a target despite it not actually being part of the route if we delete that waypoint we now have waypoints three and four, which are safely outside these threat rings. Now, obviously we don't have a target. So previously we could create an offset here in waypoint properties. And the reason I think this has never been used much is that there's very little documentation about it and it's cumbersome to use as you have to remember all the different commands and type them perfectly for it to work. In this instance, the target is nine miles on a bearing of 078 from waypoint three. So that's what's currently added into the waypoint properties. Just gonna remove these as we don't need to use this method anymore. We now have an additional field called navigation target points. And if we zoom in a little, all we need to do is click on add and place it on the map and then assign a comment with the following format which is hash os for offset and then the waypoint number so the offset in this case is for waypoint three and then we can now drag the offset around and place it as we wish this is far easier and more convenient than the old method. So I think it's something that will start to get used a lot more often. And that's all there is to it. So let's jump in the aircraft and see it in action. Okay, so here we are in cockpit. And if we take a look at our knee board, first of all, we can see that we have the various waypoints and the target offset for waypoint three. You can see that the offset location isn't added to the flight times as we don't want to fly there when using standoff weapons. Let's now bring up the T-Pod and designate and you can see that the current waypoint has no offset. However, if we increment to waypoint three now see that the waypoint offset option appears and you can activate the offset by either reselecting the offset or redesignating with OSB1. Now when we zoom in and then go to flow view we can now see our target as expected. So all we have left to do is to deliver a maverick to it. Once again, I hope you found this useful and uh, do let me know if this is something that you're now going to start to use. And finally, of course, please do hit like and subscribe. 